events have taken a long time to get to a measurement as, you know, what what's managed gets measured. And I think we we often think about event management um, as logistics, the menus and venues part part of events. Um, and so the progression or lack thereof, I think, for the average event marketer or just the marketing team that, you know, that runs events, their inability to easily measure their performance and and the lag of the event channel as it compares to obviously digital advertising. You know, we we really have a, a firm grasp of of metrics there um, and performance there and are able to, you know, do that that chess match all day long, every day, um, it's harder with events and it's, and it's still hard for a majority of folks that I spoke to in the market. We've done a ton of surveys and market research and it's, you know, still that struggle. Uh, so I think that to me was shocking just after being out of the mix for, for years is that this is still, um, you know, attendance being the, the end all be all KPI and as a, as a metric of whether or not an event is successful. And the fact that the majority have not moved beyond attendance to the revenue in the room and all the ways that you can slice and dice the data and really understand the impact of your events. I mean, of course it's attendance. I fall into that trap all the time. I'm like, it's 700 people on this webinar. Isn't this amazing? But it's more than that. It's more than the attendance rate, even though that's a great, you know, early indicator, great vanity metric, you know, I still fall into the same traps, but it's been uh, that was probably the biggest eye opener uh, when I returned uh, was that, you know, the struggles of that ROI piece were still there. Um, and then the, the struggles of events in general that we still haven't necessarily mastered a really scalable way to do event logistics and to scale what works in events. And that a lot of event marketers are really stuck in just trying to rinse and repeat and don't have that opportunity to do the strategic work that they all know that they need to do in order to scale scale the program. Um, and it just requires so much. And, you know, obviously technology is a really big factor of that and and something that Splash is trying to, you know, solve for and we are solving for with our customers. But um, it's industry kind of it's interesting how the industry is still kind of stuck in, in some ways. 